Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. In the uh, last episode, we uh, took back Chester um, back because uh, it's rightfully uh, um, a good Welsh Celtic county. Um, and we can create the... Uh, we could create the Empire of Britannia, but I don't really want to. I can create the uh, Duchy of Lancaster. Let's go ahead and do that. That will give me 200 prestige bumping me along the way to what I need. It'll cost me 179 gold, that's fine. And it is now the Republic of Reged. So let's go ahead and give it to uh, um, uh, this guy. Uh, he is not very good though, actually. Uh, Grant landed title. Republic of Reged. There we go. So he does not have many troops. Um, this guy has quite a few more. Uh, I doubt he'll try to take that, but... Uh, let's see, there is uh, a one-year-old kid there. Might try to uh, um, fix that. He, uh, This guy no longer has any problems with me, so his uh, opinion is significantly better. That's good. Um... Now, one thing that I did notice is that if we go to the direct vassal screen, so Northumberland is all of that and that. Uh, Wessex is just those two. Of course, Essex is just that. Uh, oh, and Northumberland is that as well. Uh, but Kent has this and this. So, um... Yeah, we, uh, we may actually want to, um take him out. Uh, let's see. Take his uh, duchy away. How many troops does he have? Um, not all that many. Alright, well, uh, let's go ahead and imprison him. 37% chance. Well, oh wow, look at all that money. Let's go ahead and ransom him. I'll take 145 gold. He's, of course, gonna hate me more. Uh, let's go ahead and get our troops down there in his capital. Should have done that in the first place, but... Uh, you accept paying the ransom. Excellent. Um, speaking of our military... We could get three more uh, retinue. Let's go ahead and do that. And let's go ahead and split that. Disband that one. Uh, split that one. Disband that one. And these eight. They're still mine, but uh, let's go ahead and embark. Get them over to uh, Middlesex. Ah. You're and we. Uh, meet in my room, milady. Let our love grow. Of course. And Pope Hyginius III has died. Probably died in bed. And been succeeded by Pope John Paul. Uh, he owns a holy relic. He hates me. Uh, minus 100, controller of anti-pope. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't have enough money to give me anyway, so who cares? Who cares about that jerk face? Uh, let's see. Um, you have accepted some uh, stuff. Independence faction. Call to arms. Blah, blah, blah. Call to arms. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. A son was born. Excellent. Got another uh, young Ald, or a young uh, member of our family. I need... Oh, God. Oh, oh, I need more troops there. Uh, hmm. All right, they didn't have enough uh, um, morale, though, so that helped. And we captured someone. Can we uh, ransom you? Ten gold. I'll take that. Uh, speaking of prisoners... Holy crap. I have uh, more prisoners than I expected. Can't ransom any of them, so get the hell out. 
Get the hell out. Get the hell out. And get the hell out. Thank you. Alright, you guys come down there as well. Well, he stopped his plot. So... I suppose I could request his excommunication. And really, I could just keep snagging all of his uh, territories from him. might do that. I do like that, uh, the house, uh, um, coat of arms and stuff, though. Uh, Cardinal Alphonse of France was given a seat in the College of Cardinals. Oh, actually, that reminds me. So, I was looking down here, because I was thinking about, uh, going against Burgundy for, uh, one of those territories. And, um... This guy is a the King Bishop of Burgundy, except he is he's a feudal lord. Uh, I think we're looking at another bit of a bug ish here because uh, Provence, who was the uh, um, um, the ruler of that land uh, of of Burgundy, is uh, independent now. So. I, I think that maybe when the Duke of Provence uh, uh, inherits, then it might fix itself, but I don't know. I'm kind of surprised that this is still controlled by the Byzantine Empire. I mean, the Byzantine Empire actually expanded quite, uh, f a, quite a bit over there. They really expanded a bit up here. Kind of impressed. It helps that the Abbasids exploded, though, so... Um, that that's uh, that is definitely a a thing that is benefited them. We got a kingdom of Perm up here, and of course uh, Suomi. Uh, Denmark is the only uh, um, Norse kingdom that's been able to form. Uh, got uh, some large kingdoms: Pannonia, Bohemia, and Ruthenia out here. And, of course, the Umayyads. I'm still annoyed. And, of course, the uh, uh, Lombardy taking Barcelona. I don't know how that happened. Um, but the Abbasids... Uh, so, Seville is the Yazidi guy. Um, I imagine that the uh, uh, Umayyads will take that back eventually. Um, he's not really facing any other problems right now. Anyway. Uh, I think I can disband these guys. My liege, may you live in harmony and contentment. The church can no longer tolerate the vile excesses of Duke Rishwin. We agree that he should be denied communion and be excommunicated. <laughs> so, uh, how's it going, buddy? How you doing? Um, we can't just uh, revoke your title right now. We've got to uh, imprison you because you are, uh, we only have a 33% chance. Yeah, there you go. Raised your flag in rebellion. I could totally prestige your ducal claims for Cornwall. <laughs> All right, you accept pain. Thank you. And uh, we've got uh, a daughter here who is there. Why are you uh, invite to court? Uh, arrange marriage with someone in the court? Sure, this guy, whatever. Uh, we'll just, uh, acknowledge her as mine. Hmm, let's, uh, let's mark him. I want to make sure that I keep an eye on him. Don't care about him that much, don't care about him that much, okay. So there is a big, uh, arm you know what? Screw it. Where are you going? You're going to Kent. All right.
Perfect. Alright, there we go. We'll uh, completely demolish his army. And let's uh, just go ahead and lose my stress trait right there. Uh, built a longbow range. Excellent. Completely demolished that uh, army. And uh, you know what? Let's uh, just ransom you. That'll get me uh, 25 gold. You're Breton. Perfect. And where are you going? I'm going to Surrey. Let's go over there. Might actually uh, siege this one down first because. Uh... Oh, hey! <laughs> he, rose... he brought up some more troops. That's good. <laughs> Had a lot more troops than I expected, actually. Uh, you became a brilliant strategist. That's fantastic. Uh, let's uh, look for a suitable wife for you. Um, why can I not betray? Oh, temporary title. Lombard Revolt. Okay. Uh, how about you? Range Betrothal. There we go. Alright, crush them. Where are you going? I'm going to Sussex. We'll fix that. There we go. And you became a Grey Eminence. Nice. Uh, let me guess. I'd have to pay for you, wouldn't I? Three hundred. Yep. Uh, courtier and Penfro. There we go. All right. So, eighty percent. Eighty percent already. Oh, it's great. Are you a? Uh you're a flanker. I don't want a flanker there. Uh, do we have a uh, siege leader? Anyone who is a siege leader? I don't think we have anyone who is a siege leader. Hmm. That is disappointing. Well, we've got an inspiring leader. Yeah, Mayor of Norfolk? Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. Who cares? Um, don't need a holy warrior. Uh, Mayor of Newport? Sure. Not that good, but maybe you'll get a trait. Um, I just don't want any uh, dragons right now. Uh... Playing, uh, playing parts that they could die. Hey, Caradigion. Yeah, why not? You might die, that's fine. Alright, let's see. Uh, 776. It's not too bad. Alrighty, let's just uh, go ahead and siege that down. You've agreed to that? Um, nope. Can't be my mar can't be Marshal. Um, you're still at war. Can I go to war against you? I could. I could. That is mine. Alright. We do have uh, City of Scarborough. Okay. I'll have to keep an eye on that. To the most illustrious Prince Mayor all the fourth, the good burghers of Alban are barely able to pay their taxes. Let's flatter and soothe him. And you are no longer Marshal. You just decided to quit. In 22, do we have anyone better now? Well, you want to become Marshal. Uh, you probably have already done it, so you're probably not going to get that. Because uh, I imagine that I invited you over to be a Marshal. 
There we go. You want to kill someone? Stop it. Whatever you're doing. You want to become Stuart? Uh, we are getting... They, he is getting a ticking war score in his favor. Uh, but uh, that should end as soon as we take this holding back. Um, let's see. Do I... Ah, good. I can educate you. That's 7305. I am getting there. Um... I'd like to have some more, uh, things to create. Let's see. All right, you're 18, you're 40, you're 35. Um, yeah, I'll break up with you. A uh, little daughter has been born. That's good. Uh, you became an intricate web weaver. How the heck did you get that? Well, I should point out that um, even though you, when you educate someone, there's like a 5% or 15% chance that they get a completely random educational trait. Um, uh, if you've uh, watched J2's, uh, J Squared's uh, um, uh, series where he was uh, down in uh, Amalfi, um, yeah, he, he seemed to get hit with the, uh, uh, that a lot. He had, uh, he had some pretty bad luck. There. 300? Screw that. Oh, I need to remember not to select her. Ecumenical Patriarch is too far. Basque? Nah. You're too far. Anglo-Saxon. Range Betrothal. 300? God damn it. Stop that. Metropolis is too far, too far, you're too far. I am clearly taking all of the marriageable little girls. Sounded wrong. <laughs> that, that was, that was not a, nope, you're, you cost money, never mind. Uh, how about this uh, little French girl? Nope, cost money. Come on, you people are bastards. Why are you, uh... Uh, you're in Gwyneth? That should, that should be okay. Alright. Yeah, there we go. Probably distantly related, but that's okay. Uh, Gratorio has died. And, um... Looks like a member of my... A bastard of my dynasty has inherited. Do we have anyone that we could uh, arrange a marriage with? Any, uh, any women you might want to marry? Um, marry her off. Not her. Well, actually, what about her? Yeah, there we go. Let's see if you have kids. They're probably not going to be of my dynasty, but uh, that would be interesting anyway. Uh, you propose that... Oh, you wanted to marry her. She has Cleve, Wurzburg, and Bamberg. Well, I'm sorry. But, no. Is everything... This is still not upgraded. We only have a level 2 market town. Come on! You don't have the money right now. This hasn't been upgraded either. Level 2 market town. Stupid idiots. Huh, so I could actually build a holding there. I can't build any hold... Well, no, I can't. I know I can't build that. Oh, yeah. Well, no, I should still be able to build holdings in these. But I can't build a holding here. I guess because he's tribal? Maybe that's it. I can't believe that you're still... Ah, there we go! He's finally doing it! Whoops. About friggin' time. Uh, military organization has increased, and light infantry has increased. 
accept the suggestion. Church infrastructure in this manow has increased. And you've left my court. Let's see, we are at 45 out of 43. Uh, Wick has, uh, declared, uh, the war to revoke, uh, Wilshire from, well, he is Anglo-Saxon. That's fine. You became a Grey Eminence. Excellent. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, find you a wife. How about this, uh, little Avar girl? Yep. There we go. Uh, let's see, what a splendid idea. Let's get comforted by lover. <laughs> it's always good. Let's close that out. Uh, let's see. Come spy master, blah, blah, blah. So, Wilshire. I guess I never uh, got around to converting this guy. That's okay. If he uh, revokes it, it's fine. Uh, trade post uh, in Cornwall has been uh, sieged. That's fine. Don't really care. Doesn't have anything to do with my war score. Son was born. Excellent. Uh, tutor. That's that's fine. Let's go ahead and legitimize him. Uh, let's see. Well, there are more troops in uh, the Wilshire army. Wow, 4,000 is his total. Uh, although, uh, Wick has a higher, uh, morale, and we are about to take this. Wow, that was fast! Jeez. Well. Um. Hey, you want to come to my court? No? Uh, what if I sent you a gift? Where exactly are you? Lester? Nope. Oh well. I've had my eye on a feisty young scholarly maid with a, with huge intellect for some time now. Though she skillfully dodges the attentions of every boy in Greybeard at court, I have her blushing furiously whenever I gaze into her eyes. Seduced and wrapped around my finger, this sharp lass could be very useful. Uh, make her a lady and keep her as my mistress. A courtier named Alice would appear. Uh, bed her and make her mine. What a spy she'll make. A gain... Plus one intrigue. Uh, for 30 years, which is pretty good. Maid servant lover. Uh, a common wench? I can do better. No. Make her a lady and keep her as my mistress. Ha ha ha. During the last year or so, your son Llewellyn has been spending a lot of time with the members of the local mon uh, monastic order. You have also noticed that he spends many hours per week in pious prayer. Then one day he approaches you asking for your permission to dedicate his life to Christ. He's cruel, he's gluttonous, he's envious. He's a bastard and a hunchback. Absolutely not! Llewellyn is very upset. Minus 40. Wait, he is a legitimized bastard, and he has minus 50 for legitimized bastards. I kind of feel that at some point, you, a, ba the, the, uh, a legitimized bastard should kind of say... You know, how could I complain when they're in the same boat as me? <laughs> uh, hey, I got some tech points. Not that I'm bothering to look. Oh, hey, his, his remaining little army got blown away. All right, Siege of Lambeth. And let's see if we can uh, ransom you. Well, we can ransom you. I'll do that. Uh, you have been released. Uh, do I care? You're Irish. Not really. You're Welsh. You don't look Welsh. You have a claim on uh, Worcester. Alright, well those are both yours now. Uh, Condottier... Grassolf of Company of the Hat has been imprisoned. Ah, no wonder he had so many troops. Alright, well, we're at 98%. Uh, how...
quickly is this going to go down? 10.2%. Alright, that works. Uh, Vikings have landed in Innis Manow. Let's raise up some troops. Let's go ahead and uh, ransom... Well, let's see. Am I getting any war score? I'm getting 5% for holding him, so let's not ransom him. On the other hand, I'm only getting 5%. Oh, I'd only get 10 gold. Screw 10 gold. I don't care about 10 gold. Ah, oh, you died. Boo. Well, you had some kids, at least. That's important. Alright, unfortunately, that means that uh, we're f back down to 45 out of 43. Alright. Uh, damn it. Peasants are uh, complaining. Just pay your taxes, peasants. Uh, let's see. Talk to him about being diligent. Alright, well, at least he lost Slothful. That's the important thing. Uh, you seek to kill someone. That's fine. Go ahead and end that. Let's crush them. Uh, demand monetary compensation. Send that off. That pirate! How dare he! Uh, give... Oh. Uh, give him a chance. Uh, you, uh, you might become uh, my court chaplain at some point. That's fine. Battle of Tyrgwin. Let's wait until they get on out. And then we can uh, release those guys. There we go. You have arrived at my court. Excellent. been banished. Wow. Wow, she has no educational trait. Uh, word stood against word. The farmers against the courtiers about damage caused by the farmers to the farmer's house by a cow owned by the courtier. Uh, what courtier is this? This guy? I don't know that I really care, and he has negative money already anyway. Uh, the farmer should be con uh, compensated. And we can educate a child. You. Let's go ahead and turn you into a good old-fashioned warrior. There we go. He was happy to pay the reparations. Wow. Well, that's good. You, uh, you're still at war there. <laughs> still imprisoned. All right, we are at 100%. Let's offer peace. Send that off. How old are you? You were 12. Um, let's see. Send gift. 83. Let's do it. Let's educate you. Let's see if we can get you educated properly in time. Might not be able to. Uh, let's see. Um, gregarious. Diligent. Alright. There we go. That should work. Alright, so. He is in my uh, prison. Let's go ahead and, uh, we could actually ran keep ransoming him until he has no money left. I'm tempted to do that. Huh? Let's totally do that. A son was born. Thank you. Gladly accept the guardianship contract. Excellent. All right, I got a little bit more money out of this guy. Um, why is he no longer excommunicated?
Was he able to end his excommunication while he was rebelling against me or something? I think that might have been the case. Hmm. Well, that's annoying. Maybe it's because I uh, ransomed him. Well, let's do it again. He is excommunicated. Prison. 35% chance. Oh no, he has raised his flag in rebellion. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and sit here. Oh, naive appeaser, and you are weak. You are my son. Well, let's go ahead and uh, find you a wife. Um, how about you? Range betrothal. Excellent. Really? Only 349? Jeez. Do you hate me or something? Yeah, you don't really like me very much. Right, how, uh... Hmm. That actually, uh... Got back up pretty quickly. Let's... Go there. Catch them. Daughter was born to uh, my heir, who is a genius. Let's go ahead and give her a name. Uh, unmarried heir. Oh, oh wow! You uh, you just died. Died in childbirth. You were only eighteen. Ah. All right. Well. Alright, do we have any geniuses available? No, we do not. Not that way. Find character. A there really are not many. Uh, great house. Any. I'll pay for one. Um, Burgundian Revolt. Can I... Uh, no. One hundred two desires a better alliance. What if I send you some cash? I'm talking about my freaking air here. You still will not. Hmm. So go ahead and educate her in my court. Maybe I'll think of something. Alright, well, I'm going to have to keep an eye on her. Let's uh, see how this uh, revolt is going. 58% in favor of the Lombard Revolt. It might be because I ransomed him that uh, he uh, that that took care of the um, excommunication. So I will have to keep that in mind. All right, this is going to take a little while. Oh, he actually gave this territory out to uh, one of his sons, huh? Hmm. All right, well. We'll make it a little bit more uh, annoying to take it all, but uh, I'll figure something out eventually. Let's just go to the new year. And a daughter was born. Okay, knowledge is mine. You died of pneumonia, meaning that, uh, yeah, trade post of Cornwall is taken out. Which means that we need to find you a... Well, actually, what about, uh... What about you? Well, first of all, let's see. Betrothal. Alright, you would do that. 
That would cost some money. Do we have any... Yeah, let's do that, actually. I'll pay that money. Let's get rid of Genius. Name, and then age. Um, Crutier and Colm. Nah, that costs money. Oh, Great House, any. Let's uh, do Great House, no. There we go. Of Bedford. Range Betrothal. Nope, that would cost money. Homosexual. That would cost money. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, most of the Greeks are too far away, so I'm not really looking at them too closely. That would cost money. There we go. Uh, Vikings have landed in Middlesex. As long as they're not uh, sieging down a uh, trade post, I, I don't care that much. But uh, we'll go ahead and call this an episode in the next one. Um, I will try not to screw up my uh, excommunication, thus wasting a hundred piety. And uh, I will actually take this guy's uh, um, territory. Huh. I, I guess maybe because... He's no longer, um... Okay, I get it. No. It, it's not that I screwed something up, per se. I, I need to I need to have the actual Pope for it to stick around after I've kicked him out of my country, essentially. After he rebels. Once he rebels, he loses the excommunication. Although, you'd kind of think it would come back after he gets reintegrated in the kingdom. But, I guess that might be a little bit too hard to program? Uh, something like that? Oh, well. All right, in the next episode, we will uh, take this territory, and we'll take his uh, um, duchy title. And um, I don't know exactly what I'll do. Because um, I do want to keep excommunicating him and taking stuff from him, but uh, that would cost more piety. I might just sit on the, uh, um, the duchy for a while. Uh, I'll have to think about it a bit more. Anyway, uh, we shall see you all next time.